So in this problem, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to print this double half pyramid of the specified height, right? Which is provided over here. So to do that in Python, what you do is first of all, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to from CS50, I'm going to use this get in function. So I'm going to import that. So from CS50, I'm going to import this get int function. And after doing that, I'm going to check whether the integers that I've received is within this range or not. If they are within those range, in, within these two ranges, then I'm going to break out of uh, an infinite loop. And then after doing that, am I going to print, uh, try to print this pyramid? I'm going to write logic to print this pyramid. Okay. So, so I'm going to go here and write an infinite loop. So I'm going to say while, while true, while true, I'm going to say, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to get an int from the user and I'm going to ask for the height. So H V I G H T height, G I G H T. And then I'm going to say if n is between one and eight, both inclusive, okay? If n is it's greater than or equal to one and n is less than or equal to eight, then we are done. So we can break out of this infinite loop. So we've received our integer, we've received our integer inside n. And then what we can do is we can write code for printing this pyramid, right? This double half pyramid. So the first thing that comes to mind is very simple. I'm going to run a loop, an outer loop, starting from uh, zero all the way till three in this case, right? So in general, what's going to happen is I'm going to run this loop starting from zero all the way till n minus one, right? Including n minus one. But in Python, this range function, it works in this fashion where you don't take the last numbered so the last number is not included so you include this number but you don't include this number so this effectively the loop runs from 0 1 2 all the way till n minus 1 including n minus 1 now in python you have a special feature so the range uh, function it, uh, what it does is if you don't mention the first index it, uh, it it assumes it to be zero okay so you can even shorten the code like this so now after having done that what, what are you supposed to do well let's see what happens to this uh, so at every single row, what happens is you are printing one, two, three, three uh, blank spaces. Okay. So to print three blank spaces uh, in the first go, and then two blank spaces in the second go, and, and one blank space in the third go, what are we supposed to do here? Well, you can see that i is changing in every single iteration. Okay. So what should happen here is when i is uh, like i is zero, this is um, the number of blank spaces are one two three so when i is zero and i is zero the blanks number of blank spaces is essentially number of blank spaces are um three right when i is one then the number of blank spaces as you can see in the next column on the next row i'm sorry what happens is the number of blank spaces reduces to two and then when i is two the number of blank spaces it reduces to one so what's happening is this sort of an inverse relation right Whenever this is growing, this is uh, it, the number of blank spaces are reducing. Okay. On the other hand, the number of hashes, okay, the number of hashes is equals one. The number of hashes in the next go equals two. The number of hashes in the next go that equals three, and so on. So if you can see, there's a clear pattern over here. What's happening is whatever the number of whatever i is in this sort of structure that we've created with the for loop, whatever i is. The number of hashes is going to be one more than i right and the number of blank spaces if you think carefully is going to be like three minus number of uh, the three now three minus i right in this case which is going to be in general is going to be n minus one minus i right so what I, what's going to happen is i'm going to print out um the num first of all i'm going to print out the number of blank spaces, right so i'm going to print out a blank space how many number of times i'm going to print out a blank space Three number of times or in this case in general n minus one minus i number of times right if you look at this uh, sort of pattern okay next of all what you do is you print a hash so how many now times do you print a hash as you can see number of hashes is one more than than i right so i'm going to say i need one more like i need one more hash whatever i is i need one more so, so so the number of hashes that I need is one more than I then after that after what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to print up I'm going to print 
two blank spaces, right? So I could either do this, okay, I could do two blank spaces, but to be clear, I'm just going to do this. So this increases the readability. If I would have done only this, if I would have left it like this, then, you know, when you're reading the code, you could forget that there are two spaces over here, okay? So to, to avoid that confusion and increase the readability of the code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm, I need one hash, but how many times? I need two, uh, I need two number of times. I need that one hash, two number of times, okay? I need that one blank space, two number of times, right? So then after, so we've, we've, we've completed this, okay? So till this point, we have finished till here, printing sort of the half pyramid, the left line pyramid, along with two spaces, right? So now we need to just reverse this, right? So we need to just reverse this pyramid. And to do that, we just simply, just gonna copy paste this line, right? Because nothing's going to change. Okay. So after having done this, we should get back this pyramid. But you know what? There is a problem in this code that I'm, uh, I can see. Let's see what happens. If I, if I just do Python Mario dot py, okay, and I, and I input height as four, what you can see here is there are a lot of blank spaces, extra blank spaces that are coming in. And why is that happening? The reason of the reason why it's happening is because by, in Python print function, the print function automatically adds a new line for you at the end. So in C, if you remember, this was uh, we had to explicitly mention in printf. Uh, I need a blank space followed by a backslash n. I need a I need a hash followed by a backslash n, right? But in Python, what happens is you already get this. You already get a backslash n of your own with this print statement. So the print print statement or the print uh, function works in that manner. So to to tell the print function to not use to not append this backslash n, okay? What should we do? We should essentially we have a so to do that. What we can do is we can provide sort of this this print function has a bunch of variables that you can prov or default parameters that you can provide okay so by default end is backslash n but you can change that to be anything you want so by default this is the default right but now the print in the print function you could say i know you know i don't want to give any i don't want to you to end um this statement with anything so I, you should append nothing which is the same as you know appending nothing uh, uh, an empty string okay so and you know uh, in python double quotes and single quotes mean the same as so you can even do this here but but you should be consistent when a, when you've started with this you should always uh, in a single program should be consistent with your double quotes and single quotes that's considered better design okay so i'm going to do that over here uh, on every single line okay let's see here Okay, so now this should work. This should this should work. But then there's still an error that I can see. Let's see if we can guess uh, guess that before I run this program. So if I enter four here, what's the error going to be? Just try to guess it. Well, yes, we've removed all backslash ends, but you need a backslash, right? You need a backslash after this guy. You need a backslash after this guy. So in a sense, you could you could either do it over here. You could either remove the the backslash. You could add the backslash in. By just removing that end equals empty string thing or you could do something else or you could add an extra statement which says you know what print nothing but what this means is you know what i need a backslash in over here so you could either you know not do this and just be be done with like four lines of code but in oftentimes what happens is when you try to increase the readability of the program it's useful to explicitly mention what you're doing. So I'm going to say, I need, basically, I need to print nothing, but I also need to print, so you could say this, so that you can increase the readability of the code. So you can ex yeah, explicitly saying over here that I need a backslash. And now let's check what happens. If I say four, the answer is the same, but now this sort of increases the readability, okay? Because uh, here I'm saying I need a blank space. How many number of times? N minus one minus I number of times, okay? I need a hash. How many number of times? I plus one number of times. I need a blank space two times, right? So this is a constant number. So it's always going to give me a space, two spaces, right? So then after that, I'm, I need a hash, which is the same thing as this. I need a hash, I plus one number of times. And then I want to end this with 
a backslash n so let me run just check 50 over here now if you note, they're saying that you can't use check 50 over here but to hell with that i'm just going to use check 50 over here so to do that i'm just going to change the submit 50 to check 50 and let's see what happens this might work this might not but let's see so now after having done this i'm just going to summarize the code one more time meanwhile this is running smash that like button and try to let's see so from csft i'm importing get in it's pretty simple then you're essentially running this infinite loop to find the height okay and now once the height is entered which has been within the valid range then i'm going to print this half pyramid and do that i'm going to print a blank space this portion followed by a hash okay this is this portion followed by another set of blank spaces which is two two blank spaces basically and then i'm going to print this hash again this portion again and then i'm going to follow that with a backslash n a new line character so that's pretty much it like share and subscribe peace